Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Why can't you get things done? Well, because you probably don't have a good plan. And I know that that seems very dramatic, especially because I am a time management and budgeting coach and I study time management for a living. But after years of research, I found that this is the truth. And today I wanted to set up my hourly planner while I talk about why you need to start scheduling your day. Why is it so important that you pull out that planner and actually start to write in it and keep up with what you plan on doing for your day? Most people want to live their life through memory. They want their days to flow from the time that they wake up until they go to bed because most people feel like routines are super restrictive. They feel as though they're going to remember everything that they need to do and that there is no need to write any of it down. Most people will usually use their phone and they will disregard planning in general. But we are usually not efficient or productive when we try and operate our day from our memory. Why? Because when we don't have a plan for our day, when we don't have a plan for our money, when we don't have a plan for our projects and our goals, it leads us to procrastinating because our brains need clarity in order to execute. And whenever you don't have a clear path, your brain instantly starts to talk you out of the task that you need to complete. It will convince you to do something easier instead, like watching Netflix or scrolling on Instagram. This is why writing things down and planning is so important. You may feel as though you're just lazy or unmotivated, but really, you're probably just uncertain. You don't know what to do or where to start, so you just don't start at all. And how do you fix this? By planning. So what is planning? Planning is when you predetermine what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. So it's currently Monday and I am writing in my weekly hourly planner all of the things that I want to accomplish for this week. I'm adding it to the day and the time that I want to accomplish them. And because I'm creating this plan, studies show that predetermining what you're going to do before you actually do it increases your success rate from 34% to 91%. You are much less likely to procrastinate because when you add a task to your planner, it becomes real. I make appointments with myself and I honor my appointment the same way I would if it was with another person. So how do I do it? I add my top three tasks for every single day that I want to complete in the very top box of my planner. These tasks are saved for my top energy hours, which for me is from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. I schedule these tasks during this time because my energy is higher, my willpower is stronger, I can solve more problems with ease, and this is when I'm at my best. Now, this is different for each and every person, but you want to save your top three tasks for when your energy is at your best. It could be in the afternoon, it could be a night, nighttime if you're a night owl, or it could be like me and it's in the late morning. Another big issue with planning is trying to plan based on the perfect person that you desire to be, but not the person that you actually are. Stop planning that you will wake up at 4 a.m. when you know that you are naturally a night owl. Stop adding to your planner that you're going to meditate and read a book a day and drink 45 glasses of water because you are trying to write down who you want to be. Now, it's aspirational to plan the person that you want to be, but many times it leads to frustration when you fall short. And when you fall short, you end up hating your planner and hate scheduling your life. But if you are using your planner correctly, then it becomes your best friend. It becomes your guide. You can use it to slowly make those changes that you want to make and become the person that you desire to be. It's just not all at once. You can't do it all just because you wrote it down. You have to give yourself some time and grace. So now that I am all set up for the week, I am gonna get rid of this washi tape. I ended up not liking it, but I'm gonna talk about in my next video what 
do I do when I can't get it all done? When I have planned my ideal week, what happens when things don't go as planned? So we're going to talk about that and how I adjust in Friday's video. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you like this video. It really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and I will see you all next time. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.